morning everybody it's been a while since we've done a video so I thought why not let's do it got a little prep set up here and um, today man I saw this post on Facebook that was chicken fried bacon <laughs> y'all know we can do anything with some bacon I'm southern so chicken fried bacon sounded right up my alley it was posted by some uh, cousins of mine who I'm sure their mouth is drooling just looking at the picture so I thought why not let's go ahead and make it let's see what it's gonna be like um <laughs> we all know it's already gonna be good I have a couple of things prepped here I've got a little bit of flour with um, I just seasoned mine with pepper pepper bacon's good this is something that I will play around with though because the ideas are running through my head like wildfire and um, and I also have a uh, scrambled egg and um, I used a little bit, probably about a fourth a cup of buttermilk and a fourth a cup of half and half and mix that all together. Um, gave it a nice little blend. So we're going to start. We're going to dip our bacon in the egg mixture like so. We're going to roll it in our flour mixture. Sorry, I like to do a little tossing. Give this a try. We'll probably do this, yeah, we'll do this a double time just because we like a good, we like a good crunch on the bacon. Anyway, so let's see what kind of breading this is going to give us. Take most of my jewelry off for this. Ain't nobody wants some deep battered diamonds. Although, I don't know. Be a good Give for a shift. Okay. Let's try this. Look at that. Nice little battered strip of bacon. Let's pop this down in the fryer. That's set at 350. I know. Deep frying some bacon. That's how we did it in the restaurant. It was quick. When we ran out. Most of the time I did it in the oven. And when we would run out in the middle of dinner service, man, we dropped that bacon in that fryer and that was done. Call that a day. Okay. Dip it back in our egg mixture. Just doing this twice. Back in our flour. Toss it around. I don't know. This ought to be fun. For sure. I've been sick, y'all, so I hadn't been cooking much. I feel a little better today. I'm sure that'll change towards the afternoon. Sometimes I get up in the morning and I feel better than I do by the afternoon. Rolls around. Swing that around in there. I'm just going to do three pieces of bacon because I don't eat anyway. I ain't going to eat this. Well, I take that back. I will, I will eat it to try it because this is the first time I've made some deep fried, uh, battered deep fried bacon. Shake off the excess. Do it one more time. Get her back in there. Y'all know I'm going to whip up a little bit of cream gravy to go with this. <laughs> we'll do that in one second. Get my bacon flipped over here. Ooh, that's cooking up nicely. Cooking up very nicely. I like it. I think I could. This could be something that would do well in the food truck. Just a thought. I think it will do well in the food truck. It cooks up nice, that's for sure. Okay, as I said, we were just going to do three pieces, so let me get that out of the way. Over here to my handy-dandy little... And then, y'all know I said I wanted to make some gravy. Y'all pardon my stove. Today is cleaning day. I will be trying to get that off of there. I had to get my stove cleaner restocked, so that will occur today. So, again, y'all do pardon my 
my little stove here and thought let's do a little uh, gravy while our our bacon is cooking away over there. Take a peek at it. Turn it. Leave those right in there for a second. Gravy does better when you heat up the oil. So we're going to heat that in our pan. Clean up my mess here. So we can plate this and show you what it's going to be like. We're even going to plate it on just little paper plates because we're not worried about all that. Start to make our gravy here. Got a little bit of bacon grease in my skillet. Just do a cream gravy. I'm thinking, I like black pepper, y'all know this. Making my roux. Just whisk around a bit. You want just enough flour in your pan just to soak up the oil or bacon grease or whatever you've put in there. Stir that around. I believe we can remove the first piece of bacon that we had attempted. Oh yes. Guys, this is lovely. I'm thinking I'm a fan of some deep fried bacon. that off so we don't get too excited with it. Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to do a cream gravy? We'll do a cream gravy. Let's make it with some half and half because I am a fan of half and half. Alright. Y'all remember whisk, whisk, whisk when you add that in because you do not want a lumpy, lumpy gravy. Mm. Doesn't that look good? It's going to be a cream pepper gravy. Wonderful. You can add a little bit of water to this if you want to cut back on the richness. Um, my mother always does. She does a combination of milk and water in her gravy. And it's absolutely wonderful that way. That's the traditional southern way to cut it back and stretch it out if you have a lot of kids to feed. And these days, dairy is getting very expensive. So, who wants to who wants to spend all that? We need to put a little bit of salt in our gravy. Although we like our bacon is salty, we gotta have the salt. Another little stir here. You see, it's getting nice and thick. I am gonna add a little water to mine. center just like that incorporate it around it does cut back on the richness I know y'all are like hey hey what about the bacon pull the bacon out you're burning the bacon no not it's all good it is all good because y'all remember I kind of put them in at different times and look at that let's unplug this fryer okay got that going we've got our gravy made. Finish this off here. Just want to make sure it's got enough seasoning in it. I like to do that. Oh my goodness. I may have to whoop up some biscuits and eggs to go with that. Y'all. That's just pretty darn good. I love making gravy. It's probably one of the first things my mom taught me how to make. I can remember as as young as the age of, man, I want to say three or four, standing on a stool on the stove, helping her make gravy. She told me, she was like, you got to stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Man, I remember the first couple of times it came out lumpy. 
I didn't like eating lumpy gravy. That's perfect. I didn't like eating lumpy gravy, so I learned how to make me some gravy real quick. Okay, now, y'all can tell, we've got some deep fried bacon. We've got some nice cream gravy. And let's see what happens here. Cooked up, still, you can still see it's a little chewy on the inside. That's okay. We're still gonna, mm, look at that. Still gonna take a look and see how it is. Oh my God. Okay. Well, guys, that's just sacrilegious. I mean, I don't eat. When y'all see me just standing here, I can't quit. It's like broke back mountain. I just can't quit you deep fried bacon. Anyway, there you go, guys. That's pretty good. I would recommend it. Y'all want to give it a try? It's certainly something. This will sell great in a food truck. And this is certainly something to surprise your family with. They'll love you long, long time. All right? Peace out, guys. That's the easiest thing ever to do. Y'all have a great day.